Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we made our way into Princess Shrubes, Shrubes, Shrubes Castle. And in this episode, we are continuing our journey through here because it is not an easy thing to get through. Still got a long ways to go. So, let's keep on going. Though, this seems to be the top. Can we really be here already? Uh, we did miss a couple of stuff along the way, but I don't think it's entirely necessary since we're so late into the adventure. I don't think it's entirely... Uh, important, especially since I haven't been dead set on making this a 100% playthrough from the very beginning. And, uh, I don't know, that'll be for a different Mario RPG of a different sort in later times to come. If you catch my drift. Uh, let's see if we can go up here and hit this block, however, or just completely mess up, because we have a very small window to work with. Really wish you could do that, thank you. Go. And, oh, 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 oh. So, do this. Fly up here. Get this. There we go. Now the big bros can go over here and hit this, because I knew it was like too high. I was like, there's no way they're going to be able to reach that. And... Jeez, it's a very roundabout way of just hitting a single button. Uh, go over here. Hit this. And... It did something, that's for sure. Go over here. Reunite. And in here lies... Oh, hey, this thing that we were trying to reach before. I guess we'll go over here then. Get in position. Return to your original position. This could possibly be the final area right here. Is that the case? It appears she can neither see nor hear us. Baby! Oh! Mario! Is that Mario? He's come for me! It is possible the impact completed the circuit. The transmission's ended. The monitorization equipment seems destructified. And yet we learned that Princess Peach is safe. I believe that pipe must lead to the upper levels. Convenience! Come on, everyone. Back to adventure! Let's go! You'd hardly call that at this point. It's more than an adventure. We're saving the stinking universe. Uh, hit this. Get a bunch of coins right here, because why the heck not? Mixed flower is cool. I'm having a lot more fun using them in these areas because they take out pretty much everything in one hit. Uh, get these coins, even though they're completely useless to us. Just gonna rob Princess Stroop of everything she's got. Finally, we get to see Peach again after a while, because it was kind of creepy that, like, the last time we actually saw her was when she got eaten by Petty Piranha. And, okay, I guess we've never gotten to see what it looks like inside of a warp pipe before. In case you're curious... Yeah, take that, Super Mario 3D World, thinking you're all special being the first one to do that. Oh, I guess I see why they never talk about this experience. Also, since when can Chain Chomp swim? I'm sorry, but like, they're balls of iron. Shouldn't they just sink to the bottom? Ow. Thankfully, I didn't have a big explanation by stuff. I'll be like, it seems we fell over here and we gotta go there. Back to adventure, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that is not the case. Hit this, and yeah, we just gotta work our way through the sewers of the past because the sewers needed their own evil incarnation as well. Uh, through here, though. It's another pathway. Okay, so that wasn't a shortcut. So I seem to be doing them in order, so I haven't missed anything dire. Dire, I just met her. Uh, but we still need to go work our way through the sewers because that will undoubtedly lead us to progress or a place that we haven't previously been to. So I guess we're going to go this way still. 
Uh, we got more shrooms worth. I just want to see if we could get that special item from him. So I will continue to fight you against better judgment. And of course, he didn't have it. This got four mixed flowers. Jeez, just hand him out like candy as if they would hand out everything in this game like candy. Uh, we got a new enemy right here. It is a recolor of an old enemy, the ghoul guy. Uh, what do I want to do with this thing? I guess we want to see its attacks, so I'll avoid just using the mixed flower and ending this fight in five seconds. Let's see what he is all about. Probably just speedier and stronger. Uh, oh boy. What the fruit? What the fruit? Oh, I forgot about that. He just throws him in the air, and while he's up in the air, he just like starts wailing on us. Really funny. And oh, they could inhabit the body of another enemy. What does that do exactly? Uh, it makes him stronger. Okay. Does he get popped back out after we defeat him? Uh, I guess only time will tell. Very fitting phrase for this area and this game because it's partners in time. Okay, finally got that done correctly for once. Okay, got rid of him. Jump over. Jump over. Oh, hey, I actually got it correctly that time. And got it correctly a second time. Very, very nice. Uh, they don't seem to have that many tricks up their sleeves, so nothing all that special to show off, unfortunately. I think they'll dance, though, when you look at it. It's just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, jump over here. Jump over here. I like how even Death are shy. I guess all boos are shy and stuff. Except for the Luigi's Mansion boos, because those guys are cool, and they're brave, and they're... They don't, you're in their territory, in their house now, so... They ain't afraid of anything, but no, on Darkman, they're all like, Oh, we gotta make them bashful, because that's the classic nostalgia way of the boo. Herba -derba -derba -derba. Uh, I'm not gonna go on Luigi's Mansion rant right now. I'd probably faint. Oh boy! Just keep going. God darn it! Uh, jump over. Still have a lot of second HP. It seems. Have I even taken out any of them? Uh, there's one. Uh, there is another. Maybe. Nope. Just using the same old attack over and over. These are only extra features that they could overshadow somebody. God darn it! Uh, hit you again. Not done with him yet, jeez. A lot more HP than I thought you would have. And as soon as we get rid of this dude, we'll be good to go. I did hit you a couple times before when countering, so maybe you'll be allowed to finish off right now? Uh, unfortunately, no. Gotta do one more cycle, and then we could get rid of you. There we go. Special item, please? No special item. Sad pandas. Uh, I don't know why they, they give us super evil music for the evil underground. I guess all undergrounds are the same, just dark and dreary. They have a camaraderie of sorts, I guess. Oh, uh, what do we want to do now? Can we even reach up here with the babies? I don't think we can. No, we cannot. Uh, can we go in here with the babies? We can! Uh, but we need baby cakes, god darn it. It's never a speedrunning tactic. Uh, let's go bros ball. Hit that. And jump in here real quick. Get onto the fan so we are running out of time. And then with the babies, we got a nice little flashlight right there. Keeping the place lit for us. Very much appreciate that. Ride this up here. Uh, use the fan again. Let's go over here. Uh, this place is just going to carry us all the way up to the top. Maybe we missed some things, but I'm a free fallen. As I was saying, there's probably some stuff down there. We did see an L block down there that we could have gotten, but I do not care at this point, so I'm just going for it. Sorry if it just seems like I'm kind of giving up in the end. I That's not really my intention, just that I feel like every area has been super crazy long, and I shouldn't have been so... I don't know, not like... I don't know. Maybe I kind of I kind of do regret not uh, going all out with this, but... I don't know, with just how... I really don't have any good explanation for it. It's just like, I know I could be fine even if I don't get every single thing along the way, and I'm just super duper sick. So, I just want to end on a bang and get on out of here. If that makes any sense. Or even, even if it... I don't even think that classifies as a bang, more so on a whimper than like a how lame for you to not get every single item. Hopefully it's not anything too amazing. But then again, when you think about it, if I don't get the amazing items, that makes it that makes me even more skilled because I'm using weaker items on the final boss and stuff. So maybe that's a cool show for you, huh? Ever think about it like that? Now we got these three red shells and more pointless coins that we don't need because we're not buying anything ever again. Uh, jump down here. 
Anything to the right side? Nope. Anything to the left side? Yes, indeed. Is there a such a thing as a top side? Yes, of course. Lower that drawbridge. Like how the animation looks on that thing. Look how they put evil teeth on their doors. At least they have nice design uh, aesthetics. Uh, use the Bros Ball, because I am a speedrunner as of right now. Except not really. Uh, I kind of wish, like, I wish I had the time and audacity to get into speedrunning, but, like, I'm just so sick and worried that I would get sick of a game if I tried to speedrun it. I think I've talked about this before, but if I ever did speedrun a game, it would probably be Luigi's Mansion, just because the game is actually quick and short, and I know it inside and out, and I would have a very good time with it, but, I don't know, I'm just worried that I would end up getting sick of it if I played it too much, so I don't really want to. Uh, let's see, just keep doing this over and 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 over I get rid of one of them, jeez. Mixed flower. And there you go. Boom goes the dynamite. Copy flower. Copy that. Roger. Roger, I just met her. I don't think I know. Uh, I like how he's just frozen in midair like that. Uh, baby cakes. Actually, we'll put you in here because we probably need to. Throw you up there. Ooh, uh, long jaded. Long jaded. Long gated. Pathway this time. Hit this. And away we go! Hit this to get even more mixed flowers. Gee, I wonder what item was the developer's favorite. This will be really bad if I die right now, so I'm just not even going to risk it. If you do die with just the two bros, it does not matter if the babies are still alive out there, you get a game over. So let's not experience that in the final area, why don't we? Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Mushroom drops. And we are out of mushroom drops. We went through the entire game without buying a single one, and now they're finally gone in the final area. Now that we got a full party of four, though, I have no problem taking on any enemies, so bring it on, Buster. Buster, I just met her. Hey, you missed a great fight there. Totally different from all the rest. Now that that's taken care of, though, going to hit these blocks again, as if we haven't seen this a million times already. And lower the bridge. Both ways, in fact. Very, very nice. Get the big bros over here. Hopefully this is the end of the sewer area, though I somehow doubt it. We still have a bit ways to go, but I kind of wish it was just this one screen. I guess only one way to find out. Do have this pipe right here. Can't go to the left, I don't think. Maybe we did, and I don't remember. Maybe that was the area with the fan. I just don't even remember. Oh, God. This looks so long. I want to get out of the second sewers. Uh, a coin. Yay, a whole coin. Unfortunately, you cannot find a fawful of the past in here. That'd be very funny. Uh, we got a new enemy right here. Or we did, but then he disappeared. Hello. It is a lethal bomb. bomb They are always on fire. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I, can I jump on him? Or is that bad? That is not bad. Okay, cool. Uh, they're just always ready to explode, so be forewarned. You should get experience for it. It'd be really interesting if, like, you, uh, if it turned out, like, you find Fawful here in the past, and, he, uh, something that the babies do makes them responsible for making him evil or team up with Cackletta in the future or something like that. That would be some crazy cool thing, but unfortunately not. Well, that's unfortunate. First time we ever had that happen. Uh, we're gonna give him some healing. Oh, hey, we got regular mushrooms again. Let's see if we can get baby Luigi to finish a fight on his own. Though it is not recommended. Get more coins that are completely pointless. Go over here, we got an item perhaps? Rocket jeans, Rocket Man! What do those do? Uh, rocket jeans. The efficiency of these jeans. Efficiency of these jeans bellies their otherworldly appearance. Wow, those are really good. Okay, I will give those to maybe Mario. 
I wish I got two of them. Hopefully I didn't miss one of them when, excuse me, <laughs> hopefully I didn't miss one of them when skip through over things at the beginning of Shroob's castle. Though, knowing my luck, I probably did miss out on some really great armor, and people are like, why did you miss out on that? Because I'm sick. God darn it. I will say that this Let's Play is different from any other. It's just like me whining the entire time about how sick I am. So, at least it's a different experience from what you've seen in the past on this channel. But then again, this is every LP of just me whining. Uh, I don't know. Just go down here. Uh, with all the stinking steam. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. Is, is it good to get like a steam bath or shower or whatever when you're sick? Or is that not a good thing to do? Uh, dig down here. Pop up. And what do we got? We got... Can't reach this. Great. Uh, do you hit anything by any chance? There are a switch of some sort. Ever so conveniently, the one block we could reach. Lower that bridge. And is that just for items? If so, that's kind of lame. Uh, looks like Lucky Badge A. Fishing Herbs 2. Uh, let's see. Lucky Badge. Get two Lucky Badges. So I guess we could give Lucky Badge A to somebody. Make lucky hits much easier to land. Uh, I will give that to baby Luigi. I guess we're just gonna keep on going. Hmm. I guess that was just for the items. I guess we got really good equipment for baby Mario, but uh, I guess we'll just go this way. This area, we got a bean right here. We can salvage. Uh, as for the other pathway, it leads us up here. Another bean! Gee, I'm sensing a pattern here of some sort. I guess there are no enemies over here, so we don't have to keep getting distracted over and over again. Uh, we're this way. Something tells me there's gonna be enemies right at the top, though. Uh, there isn't! Cool! Hooray! Get another bean, because we just can't get enough of these things that we're never gonna use. Seriously, why would you go all the way sinking back to Fawful just to exchange for a badge? I don't know. I guess we just really sing and wanted it, but I don't. I just really want the beans for some reason. I don't even like beans in real life. I'm just like, maybe I'll make a bean burrito or something, but no, I don't want to. You can't make me! I don't want the burrito! Uh, go over here and hit this. Creates another bridge for us. And what's on this side? There is a another block. And a lot of shaking. Hello! Jeez, what a jerk. Okay, I remember this a little bit. <sighs> what do you want from me exactly? Uh, why do you separate me? Get back. Get the ones that I want to pick them up. They're being difficult. Uh, go over here. Can we actually reach that with the babies right now or no? Uh, let's see. Can you fly across here? Survey says no. Ew. I assume all these blocks will uh make the spikes disappear. But at least there's no enemies for us to fight. Got that. Oh, I remember. It's sort of like the star puzzle uh, back on Star Hill. We just have to line it up and hit the chain chomp. So that's rather nice. Just do that. And we're good. Okay, so now we gotta go this away. Uh, hit this one. And hit this one. Very, very thrilling. Just got two hard points now. With such an epic boss fight. Uh, making it easier, easy for us this time because we found out his trick, so he sees no point in being coy anymore. Just gonna do this. And gee, I wonder what we have to do for the last one. Hello. Uh, do we need to find the real one or something like that? I guess that's what they're going for, but I don't know, maybe we just need to fight all of them. Who knows? Let's see, this one has a fake. Don't tell me he gets his HP back. They do have different... Okay, there's one who's going rapidly fast and the others are going the same speed, so it's like Popstar Piranha from Mario Party 5. Hooray! Anything that references the best Mario Party game is A-OK -okay in my book. There we go the correct one and we're good Jeez, exploded to death now we got to go all the way back there 
big old roundabout way of doing a bunch of stuff. But thankfully, it'll all be in good reward because we are finally able to get out of the sewers, presumably. I don't actually remember. Maybe there's another segment to this. I don't remember, in which case it's going to be really awkward if I just go through that pipe and like, oh, hey, more sewers. Sewer, I just met her. And this is crazy. So here's my number, except they didn't have phone numbers back then because it was the Mushroom Kingdom of the past. We just had the cellular shopper. Oh, thank God we're out. Okay, so I can keep my promise of knowing what I'm talking about somewhat. Uh, but yeah, now that's taken care of. How exactly are we going to get up there is my question. I think it actually is required to reach the higher path. So, because we need to get into this pipe. Question is, how do we do that? Will we open up this thing? I kind of want to open this up beforehand. And Okay, maybe that's going to be our gateway in. Maybe I haven't skipped anything after all. Maybe I've been a good little Let's Play this whole time and I actually wasn't wasting time by doing a bunch of stuff that I couldn't actually do yet. That would be nice for once. Me being lazy was actually rewarding in the end. Hooray, I'm a 100% LP here after all. It's a merry, merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. I'll just go up here. I've actually never seen that, believe it or not. I always watch Great Pumpkin, but I never, I've never seen uh, the Singing Christmas special. It's like the most famous one. Uh, we go down here. Uh, do I dare? God darn it! Okay, cool. Go over here. This better be worth it. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So basically, you just have to have the babies ride across this rail. I'm sure there are a lot other items in different pathways, but I don't really care. So I'm just gonna go to the right in hopes of reaching that uh, laser that's off on its own over there. Just really be careful not to fall off, because that would be really, really unfortunate. I wish you could hit this from here. Sadly, you cannot. So, we'll just ignore it for now. Uh, we can fight this guy, though. Okay, that was really close. Get that experience. We're evened up a bit. Baby Mario's a little far ahead, though, and far enough to get a level up on his own. Okay. Uh, let's see. Attack's looking really good. Defense looking really good. Speed's looking really great. Uh, let's go with attack. It's plus six, very good. Very, very good. Maybe Luigi will get one level up when he wakes up, though, hopefully. Uh, let's heal them up real quick. And maybe that'll be enough, maybe not. Maybe I should have used more, who knows, let's keep going. See, so, yeah, I'm kind of glad that this turned out to be uh, required. Like, it wasn't available to us until just now, because I really don't like, even though I don't always do 100% runs of LPs and whatnot, I just felt like I was being really crummy, like, on the back of my head, I was just like kind of regretting that I was just being very lazy with uh, this final area, but it turns out that we have to go up here anyway, so I wasn't missing out in the end. There are some coin blocks I'm missing, but in terms of just like showing off the upper area as a whole, I'm glad that we still get to show that off, and it wasn't a optional thing that I just decided to skip out on just because I'm not feeling super well, and I'm stupidly recording this even when I feel so stinking terrible. Oh no, a bean spot we can't get right now. One up super though. God darn it. Okay, pretty easy fight over there. Just gonna keep on going, and we have made it to the final laser. That's awkward. That was kind of risky business, but we got out okay. So, what gives? Do we actually have to go all the way around with the babies just to open up the pathway for them? Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. It's like... It's like all the way around the singing castle. Oh, that's really, really crummy. Uh, I guess let's see where we could go. Get some items, refreshing herbs, red peppers, and a bunch of useless money. I really don't want to have a speed up portion in the final dungeon, but part of me feels like it's sort of necessary.
Well, that was certainly fun. I really didn't want to have a speed up portion in the final area, but that was just way too sick and long. I had a lot of second enemies, so I'd be getting cut off over and over again. So there really wasn't any point to it. So now that they are here, however, I will drop them off and uh, put them into position. And now I got to go all the way back to the other one. Jeez, give me a minute. Wouldn't it be really jerkish if they were like specific to a certain bro, like the little babies would be able to reach these blocks specifically? That would be horrible. Thankfully, that isn't the case, and we are finally stinking done. Oh, God. This was an ordeal, to say the very, very least. But I believe we are almost done with Shroob Castle. That might lead us to the final area. I'm not entirely certain, but I sure hope so. Let's just find another warp pipe block so we can get reunited. And then we will head off into, hopefully, what is the final area. It would be really jerkish if they didn't have a warp pipe block here. And they do! Good. I was getting worried there for a second. But we just head on in here. Oh boy, just back up here again. At least now we get to see this side. Uh, god darn it. Oh, jeez. Phew. Let's just make a quick run for it. Okay. And in here we got three refreshing herbs. And then in Peach's former bedroom. Oh, boy. We are almost there, guys. Just a little bit more, and then we'll be finished. I don't know if I want to end it off right now, or just keep on toughing out a little bit longer. I don't know how much there is between this and the final boss. I'm going to bank on it being at least long enough to make one more episode before the final episode, so I'm going to end this off right here. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to enter the Princess Shroop statue. And see where that takes us. Presumably, that's where Peach is located. Whether or not that's the case, only time will tell. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.